Hey, uh, Dick Gibson here. Another in my ongoing series with a TG4 camera housing, and now with my choice of strobes to use with this. To back up just a little bit, the reason I chose this particular camera is I asked Ran, Ran Moore of Mosaic Underwater Camera, what I could use that was small. Because in the past, I brought a camera down here that weighed 26 pounds. That was not good. It's like pushing a bus through the water. So, and then most recently, I've been using a GoPro with two video lights and taking only video. Did a wonderful job, but I wanted to take still pictures. Okay? So he says, this camera will do it all. Now, we've talked about the, the camera, the housing, and the lens. Now we're going to talk about the strobes. Uh, he picked out the Inon, I-N-O-N, S2000 strobe. Because, again, it's small and powerful. And it's extremely well made. I'm just super happy with the way it's working. And it's been flawless so far. Absolutely flawless. It connects to the camera with a fiber optic cable and it comes with that and the camera has a way to connect it to it. It was just plug and play really. And let's take a look at the actual back of the camera. It's real simple. The only thing you really need to do with this is an exposure compensation thing and I have it set in the medium point right here and this is how you turn it on. And the camera is set up to work on TTL through the lens metering. And there's no adjustments in the camera. There's no adjustments on the flash. You just use it. All you have to do is push this one switch to TTL. And you can instantly see up here on the top, the ready light's up here. When that comes on, you're all set to go. And it's just it's just that simple. I haven't changed any of the adjustments for a month. And it, it just works great. And you can move the flash around to get shadows the way you want it, or one flash or two flashes. The other thing is it comes with a and the connection to the camera where you can hook one strobe or two. And I have the connection for two. It's the same connection. This little elbow comes apart and the cable just goes in and turns and comes down inside there. It goes right down, up next to the uh, plastic lens thing here. You take it apart, you put a second one in there and screw it back together. There's nothing extra to get. You end up with one of these extra, but you have now both flash guns connected and both of them do TTL, so there's, it's just absolutely wonderful. Uh, I would, you could get by with one, but I'd sure recommend the two of them. Um, not cheap, but you're going to get good quality stuff. Now I want to show you how we service these strobes. It's real simple. Use your little tool here that came with the housing to get the uh, O-ring out. We uh, put a little bit of grease on our finger here and rub it in. And turn this. Now I have yet to find any sand or salt in this O-ring. It is really enclosed. It really does a number on, on keeping it clean. You do have to make sure this has adequate, not too much, but adequate amount of silicone on it so that it doesn't um, bunch up when you put it together. Then we need to check and make sure that the area in where the O-ring goes is free and clear, and it is. Okay, run around it with our Q-tip with some silicone on it. Double check it. Looks clear. I put that on there like that. Now the batteries go in. There's a picture in here where they go. Two down, two up. I do the downs first. 
then the up, then this, then the rear contact points for the battery are here, and there's little notches right there on both sides that connect with these notches. There's no up or down. You just push in on the center, and it clicks like that. Now I want to check this part. This is what seals it. We're going to put just a hair more grease on our finger because bunching the o-ring would be uh, a critical loss. Now it wouldn't, I don't think it would flood the inside of the housing for the flash gun, but it would flood, it flood the battery bay and it would be, it'd just be ruined. So we put that on there like that and turn it until it stops. Always pretty well stops like this. It's the same as the other one. And uh, let's turn this over and I'll show you how the, right here, this is how the uh, fiber optic cable connects. Pretty simple. This is a sensor that senses the light from the strobe on the camera on the camera and the fiber optic cable comes right to the end of it. It's right inside there down inside there and that matches up with this right here. It kind of goes in there. It's real simple. This is not something that has to be serviced. It's actually it's probably the first time I've had it off in a month and it, it will swivel a little bit like that and that's all there is to connecting it. If you had one strobe, you just use one of the fiber optic cables. Two, you just connect the two together and that deal in the back. It has the ready light up here. There are also diffusers that go on this if you like for using close-ups or whatever if you want to flatten out the light a, bit, a little bit and not be so bright. And they just snap on. They go on the top up here where this ready light is. There's a hole. They go on like that. Snap on there. And what I do is I'll just put them around uh, this part right here, the uh, fiber optic connection. So if it comes loose or if you want to take it off, they just kind of float out of your way. Uh, don't use them all the time, but I have, and they work really well. There's one for each one of them that comes with it. Just a uh, simple diffuser. Great, great strobe foolproof have no problem with it the other day I took 680 pictures in two dives and it took about 15 minutes to recharge the battery so the TTL uses just a piece of the battery all the time it doesn't use full flash unless you're out way out in the open but I I've yet to even come close to running the battery down so uh, a great product uh, get a hold of Ran, and um, and he'll fix you up with these. Now that I've connected them with the Fantasy Flex Ball Arm, and we'll talk about that the next time. That's a whole other subject. The arm and the tray will be next. So here we go. We got our flash guns, camera, lens. We're ready to go on the water with that, and it's for a month. I've had no trouble. Fantastic pictures. Uh, you can look on this same site, and you'll see uh, pictures that I've done with it and video I've done with it. And also one of the next ones we'll talk about uh, either using uh, video lights with it or having a, th a, third, a single video light on here just in case you run into something be good for video. So, lots of possibilities. Um, ask questions. Happy to show you or tell you about any part of this. It may seem like it's a little drawn out and a little complicated, but I tell you what, if you do what I'm showing you to do, you'll have great pictures and you'll have a foolproof experience with it. So, uh, very cool. Big Gibson out.